Hello and welcome. Today I am going to play Hoplite Warfare in the Greek of Persian age 5th or century BC and uh, today's scenario is Nemea. Fought at Corinth, Greece, July uh, 394 BC. This is one of the most typical battles of uh, Hoplites that you can see. In fact, uh, hundreds of battles like that, of course, uh, usually with smaller scale, were fought of that era. And it is very, very <laughs> straightforward. We have simply two lines of hoplites. One belongs to the um, Spartans and one uh, belongs to Athenians and uh, Te uh, Thebians who were allies in this Corinth war against Sparta. Eventually Sparta won the battle and, and later the war itself gaining a domination at uh, <laughs> Greece. But when it comes to this battle, what we have uh, interesting new or odd? First of all, we have uh, <coughs> two uh, commanders uh, uh, at each side. Both are commanding hoplites only. So this is quite unusual situation because uh, hoplites usually has only one commander. And here in this scenario, we have two commanders for hoplites because this uh, hoplite line is so long that one commander could, uh, wouldn't handle this. And same goes to uh, allies and same goes to Sparta. We have also a couple of light units. These are some skirmishers and light cavalry, but there is a, a few of them and they don't have their own commanders, so they are leaderless units. So they have to be two hexes range from the unit in command to be also in command. So, uh, uh, interesting fact is that there is no initi initiative player in this uh, scenario. With uh, uh, Most of the scenarios have a player who has to get initiative at the beginning of the game, and this uh, scenario hasn't any. You have to make a roll to see who is going to have initiative at the beginning, so let's do it. And uh, now, we have one for uh, allies and three for Sparta. So for allies, six, and for Sparta, six. So this is a draw, so let's make it again. For allies, zero, so it's one, and for Sparta, seven, so it's ten. So Sp this is Sparta, and Spartans are going to be activated first. Well, the answer is easy to guess. They are going to start with their hoplites. So our hoplites to go. And like always, we need to make a lot of rolls at the beginning to see how uh, effective they are when it comes to advancing to the battle. So let's go uh, and make all these rolls. I need to place somewhere here to see uh, how uh, which, which roll is what. And now let's start with them. Nine. They are running. So they are so eager to meet their enemies. One, two, three, four, five. And now we need to make a roll because they make, uh, they run. So troop quality check one, they passed. Now them, five, they are trotting. One, two, three, four. Trot, 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 it's here. Now nine, they are also running. Let me find a run marker. Where it is? Oh hell, need to find. Okay, here it is. So they have five and one. They have uh, to, uh, to pay one movement, po one additional movement points for moving through the friendly unit and gain one cohesion hit. So one, two, three, four, five. And now let's make a roll. Three, they passed. Now them, six. They are trotting. One, two, three, four. Them. They are trotting. One, two, three, four. And trot, trot, trot. It's here. Them. Trotting. Them. Three, they are trotting. They are 
zero walking. One, two, three. Day. Nine, they are running. One, two, three, four, five. So let's make a roll. Zero, they passed. Now them. And now they are Spartans. And Spartans doesn't have to make a roll for uh, movement. I made this mistake when I played uh, my Kunaxa uh, game, where uh, I had my mercenaries who are just like Spartans, and when you have these units with red triangle, they don't have to make a roll. They are trotting every time. So, one, two, three, four, and they have to suffer one cohesion point for moving through the friendly unit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four and four. And let's mark all of them are trot, uh, as trotting. Trot, trot, trot. Trot and trot. So that's all for hoplites. And now we can place the marker of move since they all moved. And now we will have to draw. Uh, there are only three activation markers for each uh, turn in this uh, scenario. So next we have Sparta Momentum. Okay. So, do I want to activate my Spartans again? Why not? <laughs> I need, uh, of course, I need to get uh, the proper uh, die roll. They have three, so I need to get three or mm, less. I made it. Amazing. So, guys. <laughs> you are going to uh, approach the enemy and attack them before Greeks will be even able to move. That's uh, something unusual. <laughs> okay, so let's go. One, two, three, four. And uh, they are making their... Uh, orderly withdrawal. One two they are making orderly withdrawal three orderly withdrawal four orderly withdrawal and five and now i need to make a roll for them because they were running six and they had five so they take one cohesion hit Now them, one, one, two, three, four, and roll, seven, they failed, oh hell, so one more, they should take, one. Uh, all of them should get one, co one cohesion point for moving uh, uh, for the second time, so they take one, so they have two, and they take one. Okay, so now hit them. One, two, three, four. One cohesion hit. One, two, three, four. One cohesion hit. One, two, three, four. One cohesion hit. Looks like this battle is going to be fast. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, one cohesion hit. One, two, three, uh, one cohesion hit and the roll for run, they passed. So one cohesion hit only. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, and one cohesion hit. One, two, three, four. One cohesion hit. 
one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. Hell, this is going to be a long series of fights now. And here, one. All right. So now let's resolve all this uh, long series of uh, attacks. I will zoom my camera a bit. So now we were starting. We are starting here. They are attacking, so they don't have to take uh, uh, troop quality check. They are defending, so they have to take. And they have six. So let's make a roll. Five, they passed. So we have Hoplite versus Hoplite. So nothing, uh, this is column of seven. No one is superior. One. One in the column of seven. This is three, two. So attacker takes three. So they have four. And defender takes two and they are engaged. Same situation here. Uh, troop quality check for Athenians. They passed. So column of seven and five uh, in the column of seven. This is two, two. So each side suffers two cohesion hits. They suffer two. They suffer one. So now they have three. Okay. Now here, oh, and mark, mark them. Wow, wonder if I will have enough uh, engaged markers. Uh, troop quality check for Athenians. They passed. So column seven and five. Five in the column of seven, it's two, two. So they take two, they take two, and they are engaged. Here, first, uh, they, they are attacking these two units, so uh, first roll for them, zero, they passed, second roll for them, they have passed, for their commander, he's alive, and now, uh, this is seven, but we are, we, uh, we are fighting against two enemy units, so this is uh, <clears throat> not seven, but five, and minus one because of the enemy commander. So four in the column of uh, five, this is three, two. So attacker takes three, so they have four, and the defender takes two, so each of them takes one. Next here, they are uh, troop quality check for Athenians. They passed, so we have seven and plus two because of the run. Eight, eight on seven is two, three. So they take two, they have one, so they have three, and they have three as well. Oh, engage, engage, engage. I should place them here. And there, and now them. Troop quality check, passed, so column of seven. Oh, not that combat, sorry. <laughs> Here. And the column of seven, four in the column of seven, this is two, two. So they have three, they have two, and engage. Here, troop quality check. Oh, engage markers. Wait a moment, first troop quality check. Eight, they failed. So they suffer uh, two cohesion hits. And now, column of seven, the roll is eight, eight in the column of seven, this is two, three. So they suffer two cohesion hits, so they have now three. 
and they suffer three cohesion hits, so they have five. And since they have one less than their troop quality, they have to make a roll. Zero, they, they passed, so they can reduce their cohesion hits by one to the, to the level of four. Here, troop quality for Greeks, I mean for uh, Athenians, seven, they, they passed, so seven, co column of seven and six, this is two, two. So Athenians get two, they have three. And engage. And I am getting short of engage markers, so I will be place I will be placing them like that. So now here, uh, troop quality passed, commander survived, column seven, and plus one because of the formation leader, so it's eight. Eight in the column of seven. This is two three. So they have they suffer two. So they have three. And they also get three. And engage. Now this combat. Troop quality check. Passed. And now combat roll. Nine plus two because of the run so it's 11 in the column of seven wow one four so they suffer one so they have four and they suffer four and, and despite such a good result they have now one less than their troop quality so they need to make a roll and six they failed so they are routed so we have first routed unit uh, in this uh, game and now here so uh, troop quality for uh, Thebans passed now their commander survived and comb uh, combat roll with minus one for enemy leader three three in the column of seven this is two two so each side suffers two they have one so they have three they have two and they are engaged. Okay, so that's the <laughs> that was a really long uh, combat phase. Well, such things happened. Okay, so now let's draw another activation marker. This is Teban's cavalry. Okay, and what? To, uh, where is Teban's cavalry? They are here and there. Now, if they are in the range of their commander, commander is here, so one, two, three, four. Okay, they are in range, and the other uh, is here. Commander is here, so they are uh, one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, so they are in his range. They are not, so they are not in his range as well. Okay. So this cavalry is in range, so we may uh, try to make some use of it, uh, because these uh, hoplites are running on us. So how to get rid of them? Hmm. Let me find the op option. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four five six seven okay they are going to attack him from three different directions so it will allow them to attack uh, to gain positional superiority so this is good okay so this is a quite an interesting case because they are light cavalry and uh, because they gained positional superiority uh, uh, against hoplites this means that they gain no posi no superiority and enemy has no superiority either. So no one has superiority in such a case. Next, uh, we have to check for column. We have a column of uh, light cavalry versus hoplite 2. 
but we have three units versus two so uh, instead of using column of uh, two we will use column of four and we got minus two because enemy is running so it's five in the column of four this is three two so each of these light cavalry unit, uh, units suffers one cohesion hit, one, one, and one, and hoplites suffer two cohesion hits. And let me find them, okay. And now, because they have a number which is uh, uh, lower than one by one uh, lower than one than their troop quality i need to make a roll for them five they passed so they can get three and they are all engaged like before i will use one marker to mark it okay so that's all for cavalry let's draw another activation marker and these are teban hoplites okay so most of the Taban hoplites are already involved in combat, but some are not, and I will some well one unit is not, so I will move it one, two to attack them. And they are marked as shock. No, they are marked as shock must. All the other have to fight because they are engaged in combat with uh, other uh, Greek uh, uh, Spartan units. So let's start from this uh, edge. So uh, column of seven, another long line of, uh, of fights, four in the column of seven. Two, two. So each side gains two. So they have six. And they have four. So these Spartans should be routed, and now we have to make a roll for them. Seven, they failed, so they are routed. One, two. Now here, nine. 9 in the column of 7 is 2-4, so they suffer 2 hits, so they have 4, and they suffer 4 hits, so they have 7, so they are routed. Uh, and they have to make a roll for routing. Nine, they failed, so they are routed. One, two. And let's mark them as routed. Now, here. Same situation. And this time it's zero. Zero in the column of seven is three, two. So attacker takes three, defender takes two. So they have three, so they have five now. And they take two, so they have five. And because they have five, they have to take a, make a check because they have one less than their troop quality. Seven, oh, I feel sorry for these Spartans. One, two, they are routed. Hmm. Wonder if it's possible to finish this battle right in the first turn. <laughs> now, these two units are attacking them. So we have a uh, column of nine. And they have a commander. Yes, they have a commander, so it's also plus one. Three. Three in the column of nine. This is two, two. So each side gains two cohesion hits. Uh, they have uh, six. And they take one, 
and one. So they have to make a roll for a uh, road. They made it so they can reduce their cohesion hits by one and continue their combat. Now here, seven, and the roll is two. Not very good for Tebans. This is two two. So they get five. And they have also five. They have same number and this and the both sides have the same number of uh, <coughs> cohesion hits. In the, such a case, uh, defender rolls. So we need to make a roll for uh, Spartans. Six, they are rolling. One, two. And they have their troop quality lowered by one. Next combat, five in the column of seven, two, two. They get four and they get five. And their troop quality is five, so they are rotating. Let's see if they will rot. Six, they are rotating. Oh my. And now they cannot rot through the uh, other hoplite units, so they are eliminated instantly. And they can pursue here. This combat. Nine. Nine in the column of seven. is 2, 4. So they get 2, so it's 6, and they get 4, so it is 7. So they have 2 more than their troop quality, and they have the same number as their troop quality. So they are about to rot. Let's see if they will Nine, yes, they will rot. Uh, looks like I can already tell who is going to win this battle. <laughs> they are rotating, they are advancing and they can uh, reduce their cohesion hit by one. And now here, five, five in seven, this is two, two. So they have four. And they have five. So they might rot. Let's see. Zero, they passed. So they have their cohesion hits lowered by one and they remain engaged. And finally here, let's roll for commander. He's alive. So we have uh, seven and minus one it's less than zero. Less than zero in seven is three one. So attacker takes three, defender takes one. So they have three, so this is six. And they take one, so this is four. Okay, uh, so now they might uh, retreat and they have to make a roll with plus two because they were attacking. Four, they passed. So they can reduce their cohesion hit by one and they remain engaged. Now here, they are attacking, so they don't have to take troop quality. They have two, nine, they failed. And because they were rotated, they are already uh, destroyed. They are moving here and here, first let's roll for the commander. He is wounded or killed. He has one. 
Soul 3, he is killed. Oh, and he's killed in action. This means that he's not going to get his replacement. That's bad. Interesting case. Uh, Tebans definitely are winning this battle, but their commander was killed. And now let's resolve this battle. Uh, we have uh, this massive, uh, this double phalanx. Uh, so they have, uh, they are treated as two units. So this is column of five. Sorry, the, they are attacking. So this is column of eleven. Column of eleven as, and four. Eleven and four is two three. So they take two. So they have four. And they take three. So they have six. So. I need to make check for them. Six, they are routed. One, two, they make pursuit and they are routed. So that's all. Oh no, there is one more combat here. So uh, these uh, Spartans are attacking these two cavalry, these three cavalry units. So uh, and they are attacked from the uh, flank, uh, so no one is superior in this battle. Oh, sorry for the ca camera being out. I mean about this, I talk about this battle. So no one is superior. Hoplite versus Light Cavalry is 11. And uh, this is 9 because attacker has numerical superiority. So 9 and the column of 7 is 2-3. So each of them gains one cohesion hit. And they get two. They had three, so now they have five. So they must must undergo a check. They passed. So they have their cohesion hits reduced by one. And they are still engaged. I have enough markers to mark them all. All right, so that's all for this uh, activation. And now. Sparta cavalry and skirmishers. <laughs> they are all leaderless and they are far away from their command uh, for, for the units that are in command. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I cannot get uh, on the hex adjacent to the enemy unit. One, two, three. One, two, three. They can move here. In the next turn, they might try to perform uh, harassment and dispersal against them. But I, I, I have a feeling that there won't be a second turn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, four, five. And that's all. And the last activation marker is Tebes Momentum. Okay, so uh, Tebans lost their army commander, so they cannot get a momentum. So this concludes this turn. Okay, now we have to remove all the hoplites, uh, hoplite phalanx with that, ro that that are routed. Oh my! So all these poor Spartans are saying goodbye. Any other? No. Okay, so this is going to end uh, this battle, I believe. Because now we have to count the number of uh, road points uh, and there, are, there is a lot of uh, fa Spartan Phalanx eliminated. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 64, 62, 74, 86. So there's, there are 86 uh, road points for Sparta and they need to, uh, this is uh, Nemea. And they are routed if they get 55. So you can tell that this was a critic, quick and very bloody battle. It ended so fast that I, uh, I was uh, really surprised. I was certain that it's going. I was certain that it is not going to be long, but uh, I, I, I'm still surprised at how fast it was ended. So, 
that's what uh, that, this is going to be definitely one of my, one of my quickest uh, hoplite uh, videos but well such things happened uh, during this game and you can you can tell uh, by this uh, video so that's all for today thank you for watching and see you next time